Hi, this is Brad Buckner, SharpensBest.com. Uh, this this pretty good little knife right here. It's on our website, and uh, it's got the Army, uh, the military camouflage like that. It's got the thumb assist open. It's got the belt clip on it. It's got a center frame, side frame lock. Uh, I don't know really what you call them, but anyway, it's on the frame, and, and you just push this off to the side like this. It's got the finger assist. It's got the spring assist. Uh, people say... Uh, how do you how do you sharpen uh, inside radius? You know outside radius, um, especially a, an inside radius knife. So um, let me uh, dig in my pocket here and uh, find one of these guys. And I see I'm getting some text there. That's okay. So we got an inside radius. First of all, we have. I'm gonna turn this around because this is the way you ought to be looking at it. You got your serrated edge that's, edge that's an inside radius and it carries right on through the inside radius from here up to here, then it's an outside radius. So first of all, I'm gonna show you how I sharpen the serrated edges. You have the bigger round holes, the little points, and the bigger round holes, the little points, bigger round holes, little points, and then the last bigger round hole. So I just make a pivot out of my thumbs. By the way, this is the uh, sharpened spark. And um, it's the original sharpened spark. So it's about four and a half, four and three quarters of an inch long, uh, probably five eighths of an inch in diameter back here. And then the head on it has the open uh, uh, face sharpener there, and it's got the V notch there. And then we call it the sharpened spark because you open up the handle here and you've got sparks. So, sharpened spark. I'm going to use it to sharpen this knife. So let me scoot up here a little bit and get down here where you can actually see, get in the sun. All right, so we're going to start on the bigger round holes, and we'll do the points, bigger round holes, and then the points. And then we're just going to slide it down through there like that. So we set it back on the left side, slide it down through, come out on the right side. So it'd look like this. Maybe you can see what I'm doing better this way. Set it down left, slide it right, set it down left, slide it right, set it down left, slide it right. So you go right down through there just like this, then slow down, get the bevel right, little points, work on them, then the rounded hole, okay, then the little points. You don't have to push too hard. You don't have to stay there very long. You can actually see the shine start coming into the uh, sharpening area where, you, where you're sharpening it down in the serrated area, just like that. And again, don't push too hard on it. It won't work if you actually push very hard. And then I'm just going to go along like this, lightly sharpening the points, and then turn it over flat like that. Now I'm just going to carry right on through onto the inside radius. I tip it like this, I cover up that first notch, and then just I, I let it bump my finger, set it down, and slide it forwards. Bump my finger, set it down, slide it forwards, bump my finger, set it down, slide it forwards. Match the bevel front and back, just like that. You can turn it, turn it, turn it over, turn it over. Now I'm going to go around the outside radius, so it would be just like this. Set it down right on that point, just like that. Don't push too hard, it's not necessary. These sharpeners will sharpen with uh, an ounce of pressure or less quite well. If the knife is horribly dull or I'm making a knife out of piece of tin, then I'll use three, four, five ounces of pressure if I really actually have to cut the blade. Nine times out of 10, I don't really have to cut the blade. Okay, now we just do this. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna touch it really light from the back to the front. Just like that. All right, now I'm just polishing the little wire edge off the blade, and I touch it lighter and lighter. You want to touch it about 10 times both sides, 20 total. Flip the knife every time. Every pass, flip it over, and I was not counting. So let's see what we got here for sharp. Oh yeah. And by the way, this was not the uh, Denver Magazine. It's uh, actually kind of a thick, copier paper. So inside radius, serrated edge, um, you know, it just works so good. It's better than any other kind of sharpener I've found yet. Yeah, you know, you poke at this thing with a file or a rat tail ceramic or diamond, uh, good luck with that. It's not that easy. Inside radiuses aren't that easy at all, no matter what you use, unless you use a sharpened spark. This is Brad. You take care. I'll see you later.